Right. <laughs> this game is rated T for teen, but the commentary? Well, that's a different story. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back, everyone, to part two of Sam and Max Beyond Time and Space Remastered, episode five. What's new, Bluzzy Bub? <laughs> Sorry if I got that wrong. Before I continue with this, I just want to say I hope YouTube does not restrict this because when I get to hell, I'm going to be going to a room where it says recent arrivals and Bosco's in one of them. And I can't believe I'm saying this. He's butt fucking naked. Even though that Skunk Ape games have a big sensor bar across his crutch part. I just hope that they don't do that because I don't really think it'd be fair that one's age restricted and the rest aren't. Wait, can this remote work with... Ooh, let me, let me! There'll be snow flurries in hell before I let you have control of a two-story tall battle robot, Max. Here I go again, on my own. Holy fucking horse. <laughs> this is awesome. My name is Luca. I live on the second floor. My name is Luca. I E I E I will always love you. <laughs> I hope I die before I get old. Talk about mud flaps, my gals got them. Dust in the wind. All we are is dust in the wind. Okay, so Mama Basco has a token, so maybe I need to go this. The main Atron 9000 is tall. I didn't think I'd be controlling this. This is fucking awesome. Train. Woo -woo. Domo arigato, Mr. Obato. Right. Um. Nah, screw it. I didn't speak with Sybil in the last one, so I'll speak with her now, just in case. Oh, Sam and Max, you're here! I've been dying to tell you. You'll never guess what Abe did during our date last night. We stopped speculating about that months ago. It was making me lose my appetite. Sam, shut it! Girlfriend! Dish! He actually got down on one jowl and asked me to marry him! Congrats, I guess. I've got so much planning to do. I'd be a wreck if I didn't have the monster to help. Oh... It's no bother. Talk with Sybil, then the monster. Hiya, Sybil. I don't have much time to chat, Sam. I've got so much to plan. Well, what's the wedding gonna be like? Is it a shotgun wedding? Max! What a thing to ask. Oh, wait. He doesn't know what that means, does he? Just let him enjoy his fantasy version for a while. I kind of have to say, I think I prefer the remastered version of how smooth it looks. Um, before I forget this, the reason I said about hoping YouTube doesn't censor, uh, restrict this because Bosco is naked. Apparently, this was the same issue I had in Saints Row the Third Remastered. There's a big brute called Oleg Kurloff who's strung to a machine and he's naked, but the whole crotch area is completely censored. So I do hope that, fingers crossed, that YouTube does not restrict this, even though... Bosco is censored down below. Did we accidentally leave our monster in here? Ugh, we're gonna have to get a leash. Back in the trunk, gruesome! Don't you dare take him away. I've been spilling all the details of my whirlwind romance with Abe. It's just like talking with my girlfriends. Why am I made to suffer so? <laughs> I just want to hear that again. Did we accidentally leave our monster in here? Don't you dare take him away. Can we give you anything for the wedding? We kept one of the zombie's arms that fell off. It's old and kind of blue now. You want to borrow it? That's a lovely offer, but no thanks. Is there room in the wedding party for Max and me? As president of the U.S. and high priest of the Ocean Chimps, I'm qualified both legally and spiritually to conduct the ceremony. Hmm, how to put this tactfully. They'll be serving ice cream in hell before I let that happen. Ouch. Good luck, Sybil. How you doing, Gruesome? What have you been doing since you confessed your love for Sybil and she turned you down? Mostly just replaying that moment in my mind. 
over and over again. Hey, monster, which color do you think Abe would look best in? <sighs> Maroon. Enjoying all this quality time with Sybil? Please kill me. Um, okay. I'm not going to deny you of that. Nothing personal, gruesome. Don't judge me for this, Max. It's for his own good. Bless you. <laughs> that was classic. Don't judge me for this, Max. It's for his own good. Uh, sorry if I got All right. Monster. Monster. Hmm. I've never handled a monster before. I'll have to figure out how this works exactly. I knew Harry Mormon was the so called Reaper, whatever the hell you call it. I don't know if I could sneak get down there quick enough to get past him without a token, but. <laughs> ah, oh my. Sam and Max! Could you guys hurry it up? I've heard about a robot full of seriously injured rats, and I've got a quota to fill. Hold your pale horses! We're working on it! <laughs> I can't believe Max got hit on the fucking head by Max. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say Sam. Uh, oops. <laughs> ah, fuck me. <laughs> I can't even. <laughs> Give him the token. One adult and one Max, please. How did you guys get a token? We've done things, Harry. Things we're not proud of. Wicked things. Shut up, Max. Er, zombie Abraham Lincoln didn't want his. Oh, good. Put your token in the machine to call the train. The old gumball machine from Bosco. <laughs> Everybody get on board, because we about to take a ride on the Soul Train. That voice was actually pretty fucking good. Next stop, we going straight to hell, baby. Huh, I didn't really think that it would start even after doing part one. <laughs> Feels weird. Yeah, whatever. Usually that little opening intro would start during at least a certain part, but I didn't really think after part one I'd, you'd be seeing it now. Fuck it. I may consider shooting all of them next time. I think I saw that. I think... Yeah, I did see... I did see someone shoot all of them, so... I wonder what happens if I shoot them all, so... Ah, fuck it, I'll figure it out. Later. Okay, Nick, focus. Jorgen. Uh, one moment. This is hell. Danke for holding. No, hell. You... What number were you trying to reach? No, we are 666. Yeah, no, no problem. Happens all the time. See you soon. Can I help you? We want to talk to the guy in charge! He's taken Bosco's soul too early. I see. Well, his schedule is full at the moment, but I'll see what I can do. And you are... Um, Sam and Max. Sam and Max. Sam and Max. Hmm. Oh, yes! The ones who sent me here! Oh, I'll get right on that. Jürgen, be a peach and clear out my calendar for... Oh dear. Who authorized this? A giant horned skull? Really? I'm sorry, I thought it was 2008. Oh, very well. Cancel all my appointments, would you? I'll be in my office. Oh, did I forget to introduce you? <laughs> How careless of me. You can have a seat and wait if you like. This is hell. Hold, please. Yes? We want to talk to Satan. Yes. Well, I fear you just missed him. Much like you just missed saving me when you had the chance. Well, yeah, but you know, you are kind of evil. And you killed us! 
No matter. I will mention you are waiting next time the boss visits. He drops by every 66 years or so. Can we get a tour of the place? You'll have to guide yourselves. I have to answer the phones. For eternity! Don't we need a visitor's badge or something? No. As frequent contributors, you can go where you like. Just look, though. Don't touch anything. Hold all our calls. Mm, yes. This is so funny to the point that I cannot remember to laugh. Weird. No exit. You don't have to be damned to work here, but it helps. Hmm, it looks cold. I can't even get a hot cup of coffee in hell! Okay, seriously, where's that fucking music coming from? Huh. Never thought I'd see these two assholes again. Hugh Bliss and... Brady it's a Hulk list of swear words. <laughs> and... <laughs> it's just fucking funny sometimes when it beeps like that, but then again... What's the point of hearing a s swear word? Hey, buddy. Look, it's Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Fine, don't say hi. Nice trick with your head. Do exorcisms work on people already in hell? Are you gonna fucking say anything? Are you busy? We're going for lunch, wanna come? Did you get that meeting request I sent? What are your dreams? Hey, sorry about killing you last year. It happens. What do you do here? I work for the largest division of hell! The FCC! Doing what? I bleep! Right here in your cubicle? In front of Satan and everyone? The FCC. Those slimy pricks. You bleep? I listen for naughty words, and I bleep them! No swearing, no cursing, and no oaths of any kind. That takes the fun out of everything! Exactly! Can we say... Nope. What about... Nope. What about... Tugger? Yanker? Tool handler? Hmm, okay. all right. Good, good to know. <laughs> What's with the tool handler? What about that time Jimmy Hoffa said, ride the fucking surfboard? <laughs> oh yeah, you should have bleeped the shit out of that. Bucking is not on the list. Sorry. Later, Hugh Bliss. Well, go over to this area first. Things have gotten so bad, they had to cut minimum wage in half. Okay, who forgot to fill the pot? It has three settings. Bake, popcorn, and cremate. Hey, Max! Yo! If hell's always been this nearby, I wonder why we've never visited before. It's definitely not from lack of invitations! All things considered, this place isn't so bad. Your own cubicle, full benefits... Hell, throw in some stock options and I'd worship Satan! Huh? No, no, worship me! Worship me! Oh, man, these former TV stars will not let go of their catchphrases. <laughs> You crack me up, little buddy. Make that two of us, Sam. <laughs> that was its classic idea, though. No, worship me! Worship me! Did you hear that Stalin over in accounting got demoted last week? I heard he was dipping his slide rule in the company breadbasket to try and shimmy his way to the middle, if you know what I'm saying. Actually, I have no idea what you're saying. See you in hell, Max.
Well, well, Mr. Spatula. It finally all makes sense. Coming back from hell as a ghost, manipulating the gullible ocean chimps, making the volcano explode to summon the mariachis? It was all part of your evil plan! It wasn't part of your evil plan? Well, that wasn't too bad, if you were making it up as you went along. I hope that was an evil laugh. Oh, hello, Mr. Spatula. I hope you've learned your lesson. Your mama don't work here. Hey, we needed her token. <laughs> Classic. Fucking hell, that's a cool chair. Ah, they went for the swivel throne. Good choice. Swivel thrones kick ass. Sexual harassment and you. Uh oh, I've touched all those places. Several times. Uh. <laughs> I didn't know what to say, so I was like, uh. I'd speak with Brady Culture. Brady Culture? You're dead? I didn't even know he was sick! How do I not get an obituary? I'm a major television star! An international buzz generator! A cosmic pain in my backside! Ooh. Does your on-the-job training include evil lastmanship? <laughs> I guess that's a no. What are you doing in hell? Living large! I'd been a temp in purgatory for the last year and a half, but finally, I'm a full-time employee! Right, we don't actually care. We're famous TV stars. Sticks and stones. I don't care what anyone says. I'm in hell, and I'm happy. Forgive me, my mouth is too parched for a spit tape, but... You like hell? What? I mean, sure, the wailing of millions of tortured souls gets a little old, and my headphones are ten sizes too small. But none of that matters, because I finally found someone who believes in me. Satan! He is the only true equal opportunity employer! You're telling me Satan thinks you're actually good for something? That's right! I'm finally somebody! Too bad you had to die to become somebody. The ironic reversals were so thick, you could cut them with a knife. How'd your fro grow back so fast? Elf tears. <laughs> Later, Brady. <clears throat> Can we have your key card? Well, considering you already took it, I guess so. I don't need it anymore, now that I'm full-time in hell, suckers! Yeah, Brady, you win! Okay, seriously, I thought elf tears were only supposed to make trees grow, not hair. Whee! The hell? Ah, what kind of hellish bounce relief is this? Uh, I don't know. And yet, a mysterious voice compels me to enter. <laughs> Does it now? Well, let's go, shall we? <laughs> I'm impressed by the decor, but what kind of place is this? Must be the kids' play area. They've got little play sets of all our pals. Hey, Bosco! Hang on, I know what this is. This is where they keep all the souls of people who died during our cases. They opened it already? But I had a speech prepared and everything! Let's just... Like I mentioned before, folks, I hope they don't sense... Uh, restricted because of the this one with Bosco being naked and all. It's one of Santa's elves. Oh dear, I'll never make my ship date with all these distractions. Oh no, it's Santa. Shut up! I'll never get any work done with that infernal cry. <laughs> Santa's inside, looking pretty upset that we shipped him to hell. That looks like our car. What did it do to deserve hell? I guess these days you just have to be an accomplice. What? Max the Destroyer. Oh, they got my bad side. I want a do-over.
Sam the Devourer. Very flattering likeness. Dedicated to Sam and Max for a lifetime of generous donations of souls, both evil and simply led astray. Looks like everybody's permanent record's on file, but they're all locked. What's that? Is that Grandpa Stinky? <laughs> More looky loos come to see the big show, have ye? Jesus, I never thought I'd see him in hell. Grandpa Stinky looks even more miserable than usual. I didn't think it was possible. Wait. Would this work on the card reader? Yeah, it should. Ah, the key card unlocked the dioramas. Where to? As much as I would love to go to the other ones, I'm gonna may have to pull up the YouTube page and find out what next. I think I need something from there to go into here. Holy crap, my eyes! Don't know. More people coming to watch me! Vasco! You're... Nude. Silence! Silence! It's okay, baby. We're all still watching you. For eternity. Ugh. Hey, remember this place? No! That makes none of us. I don't think that they've been on any places compared to this. This is not one of the places that Samuel Max have been to. These demons must really be starved for entertainment if this fascinates them. The circus never comes to hell. But the squirrel nut zippers will be here next Friday! Boss goes naked. I'm doing everything I can not to think about that. On You're not helping! In Oops. the raw. Shut up! Nude. Oh, crap. Sorry, folks, I was just trying to... Shall we? Let's! Ah, screw it. Um, hey, hey there, Bosco. Don't look at me! Trust me, we don't want to see you any more than you want to be seen. Why are you standing naked on a stage in front of your mother, your therapist, and a Mexican? Wait, wait, I know this one. I'm in some kind of one-man play, but it never ends, and I don't know any of the lines. Bosco's Personal Hell, a play in an infinite number of acts. Phew, and I thought waiting for Godot sucked. What do you have to do in this play? Well, I just got done playing a game of Truth or Dare with all my ex-girlfriends. And after that, I gotta get a root canal while taking an algebra quiz. Oh! I didn't even study. Why don't you just leave? I can't! I've gotta perform! They're watching me! Who? Them! <laughs> I scared myself! <laughs> that was classic! Okay, I'm just gonna do this once, once. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Nick, stop laughing, stop laughing. Stop laughing, just calm down. <sighs> Shit. Who's watching you again? Them! <laughs> oh my god. Who's watching you again? Them! <laughs> oh, Christ. Okay, once more, once more, once more. I'm gonna have to take off the headphones so I don't laugh. Who's watching you again? Them! Okay, sorry for doing that, folks, but <laughs> that was too fucking funny to pass up. So, how are things? Oh, you know, not too bad. Except I'm in hell! Eternal damnation sure made somebody cranky. Cheer up, Bosco. None of this is real. It's all an illusion. What are you talking about? Of course it's real. I've been pinching myself to be sure. My face is real. My chest is real, my stomach is real, and my- Okay, we get your point. See you around, Naked Bosco. I don't think I'll ever stop seeing you. Save me! Nitros... Nitrous Oxide. It's Nitrous Oxide. Looks like Bosco has some dental work in his future. It'll be twice as hilarious without anesthesia. Wait, can I use that with the death stroke? Oh, we expanded again. I thought I'd finally figured out how to keep the weight off. Maybe I'll speak with... 
No, I may need it again later. No, move aside, Sam. For fuck's sake. Let's see what Santa's got to say. Hmm, Santa's workshop. The jolly old elf working hard on his delivery, the sound of children playing, and a jaunty Christmas jingle. How could this possibly be hell? Maybe Santa's Jewish? What? Screw it, I need to. Sir. Howdy, Mr. Kringle, we're back. Huh? Yo, Sam and Max. Hot enough for ya? Hmm. Well, it is a bit warm, now that you mention it. But I can't worry about that. I've got too much work to do recalling this blasted toy. But these beastly children are ruining my concentration. Up, 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 up. Ah! I'm not going to question how that's possible, but then again. It's like I'm in hell. Uh, you are in hell, Santa. What dangerous toy are you recalling this time? It's the Rex Skirmish Danger Hero action figure. Completely irresponsible, and it just keeps coming back even worse. Oh, it's taken me four months just to get them to remove the candy-flavored lickable lead-based chest tattoo. What? <laughs> what kind of miserable work are you doing here, Santa? I'm recalling dangerous toys. Ah, oh, I recall the dangerous toys of my youth. The savage tongue ripper. Little patio fisticuffs, the belligerent drunken leprechaun. Oh, I remember that one. He, he really wet himself. Having to recall toys must be horrible for you. Hellish, even. Oh, my, no. I love recalling toys. The problem is, these babies make it impossible to concentrate! What's the matter with the babies, Chris? Santa loves children. Why do people always assume that? I took the one job where there's only one day a year, there's even a chance I'll be near children. With very strict rules that they're not allowed to see me. Well, when you put it that way... How do you think a virile man like me has been married for centuries with no kids? Did you think of that? I'm trying really hard not to think about that right now or ever again. Have a holly jolly eternal damnation. Ha 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 ha! What did I do to deserve this? Now that he's. That is just something I love. <laughs> <laughs> that was classic, though. Music was also pretty amazing as well. But anyway, I'm going to cut this here now, folks, because I'm going to take a bit of a break from doing the remaining parts. It may end up in either five or six parts. I'm not too sure yet. And like I mentioned before, I told you once before, and I'll fucking do it again. Hope YouTube does not restrict this because of Bosco being naked in the theater. So, yeah. <laughs> I do actually hope when they analyze through it, they actually hear me say that. Because I don't want a repeat of, like, Saints Row the Third Remastered when I had to redo that one mission over again. And I don't really want to be redoing this ep uh, not episode, this part over, oops, again. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Till next time, this is Nick, over and out.